Our home in space is in the solar system, you see. If you were in space and wanted to send a postcard home, you would put this address, town, earth, county, the solar system. Today, though, you're going to hear about how I got beyond the border of the solar system. Beyond the last and final frontier of our home. Ever since he was a robot kid, kid would dream of space, that's all he did. While he put together rocket ships, he would dream of interstellar trips. Oh. <laughs> now robot kid flies into space. He wants to know how life is different in this place. Kid loves to learn, he just can't stop. If he gets crushed by gravity, he'll fix himself right up. Cosmics! Voyager. On a comet in the Kuiper Belt, I met a friend. Mr. <laughs> Battery. We found out we were great travel buddies. He has the energy, and I have the engine. One without the other wouldn't get very far. <laughs> we were in the Oort Cloud. That is a huge dust cloud that extends far beyond our system. This far from home, we weren't expecting at all that we could meet a colleague from Earth. Hello! You're one of us, aren't you? It was Voyager 1. A probe sent into space by humans to carry a message about Earth and its civilization. For its journey, it was given a golden record. On it, there are different sounds and greetings from Earth. No. What's the matter with you, my friend? Oh, people, people. Hmm. How long have you been on your journey? Mm -hmm. Voyager had been traveling for more than 40 years, and the amount of energy it had left was almost zero. But Mr. Battery helped him out with that. So we said goodbye to Voyager. We thought we'd never see it again, but we were wrong. Stop there! You are flying in the wrong direction! This way would get you home! What are you doing? Mr. Battery managed to calm Voyager down in the end. He took away all the energy he had given him before. <sighs> what were you thinking trying to fly home? <laughs> oh, you miss Earth. But you have an important mission, my friend. You are the only one who can bring the message about humans to space. <laughs> but you have Earth with you all the time. In the end, Voyager budged and decided to change course and head for the stars again. Goodbye, Voyager! Bring the message about people to the stars! <laughs> and we, we continued with our travels. More about that next time, curious friends.